stay. You wait right there. When I'm going to teach the stand, I teach it out of the down because it's much easier for the dog to execute the stand from the down. So he learns the, the uh, signal more readily and e it's much easier for him. Um, it will only be after I've taught him the fold back down. Introduced him to it. I'm still one stride length back. So I will have my dog do the down and I think we need well, okay, down here. Good boy. Whoa. Um, I use my right hand, and what I do is I just take my right hand out and say stand. Initially, I'm not going to have a cookie in my hand, because if I have a cookie in my hand, my dog is going to want to come out of the box for that cookie. And I want him to learn to stay in the box, to not move forward, not step forward out of the um, any, the sit or the down into the stand exercise. So no cookie in the hand. I will put my foot on the bar, and it doesn't matter whether it's your right foot or left foot. foot. It's to stop my dog, to block my dog from coming out of the box. I'm going to help my dog succeed. So <clears throat> what I can do are two things, and I'll show you this one first. I'll take my hand down, stand, and he steps out of the concertina. Good boy, good boy, Stan. He'll want to come. Now, if I want to give him a reward, I'm going to give it with my non-signal hand. In my case, it would be my left hand. So I could give him a reward for the down. I mean the stand, rather, for with my non-signal hand. I do not want to give it with my signal hand because that fosters the whole concept of his coming forward to touch that hand to get the cookie. Huh. Right? Wait. The other way... <coughs> With some dogs, it's a little more difficult. So what I would do is I would put on a leash. Oh, where is the baby, baby? Another way I can help my dog learn the stand and not come forward is to put the leash on him, have it under his chin um, so that it's coming straight forward. I don't want to throw him off balance to the left or right. Again, I'm going to put my foot close, I mean on the bar, front bar, Good boy, good down. I'm gonna put tension straight back, not up, straight back to help him come forward out of that drop when I say stand. Good boy, stand, that's your stand. I step back, I can get a cookie and give it to him with my non-signal hand. Good down, stand, good boy, stand, good boy. That was good, huh? Did you did it? Up, 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 yeah, up, 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 up. <laughs> okay. Another thing I introduce at this point is tension pulling straight forward on the leash. Uh, this is so later I can actually use it for proofing as well, but it helps my dog understand that he does not move his front feet. Again, I'm going to put my foot there. The leash is going to be short. And I'm going to pull. F oh, honey. Come here, sweetheart. Let's start again. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait right there. I'm going to pull forward as I say, good stand, good stand. Now with some dogs, they are going to want to move. You can also pull forward and keep your hand on his brisket, on his chest. Pull forward, help him succeed, always. Good stand, good feet, good boy stand. So that I can get away and have a lot of tension and he's not going to move. Ultimately, I'm going to go left, I'm going to go right and he won't move his feet. This helps them better understand, and again, later, I can put this on to reaffirm that I do not want him moving on his stand, sit, or down. All right, because I can use this in each one of the um, skills. All right, go away. Ready? One, you need a break, huh? Two, three, you get that, you get that, you get that, that was my boy, you get that. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, you good boy, yeah. Wake up, little boy. Okay. All right, I work on the down and stand for quite a while before I start introducing the sit. Um, 
There are two ways your dog can execute the sit in the signal command. He can take his front feet to the back from either the stand or the down, or he can bring the back end to the front and do a tuck sit um, either from the stand or the down. The choice is yours. It doesn't matter. There are advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, if I have a really high drive dog, I might want him popping up into that sit and that's done with a cookie bringing him up so he leaps up and sits. I do not teach that one because I do not have really high drive dogs. I have nice, nice high drive dogs, but not really big high drive dogs. You get a bug there. And secondly, um, oft times the dog does not come up all the way. He just comes up a little bit. He brings his front feet back a little bit and does not completely come into a perky sit. Uh, I want my dog to come into an absolute definite sit, not an in-betweener. So I teach my dog to bring the front to the rear, and I teach it from a stand initially. Stand, okay? So the way I do it, I use, again, my left hand. The way I will do it, not, I can have a leash in the, in the non-signal hand, and um, I will take my hand with the cookie originally, but again, only three or four training sessions, bring it up and say sit, and my dog will bring the butt into that nice tuck sit. Good boy, that was good. Want to do it again? Stand, good boy. So let me show again. Sit, good boy, sit. That's your sit, yay for you. That's, yeah. Oh, you bad dog. You have bad dog. It's your bad dog. Up, up. Oh, you are. <laughs> As I stated earlier, this is just an overview to an introduction to the um, signal exercise for the utility classes in obedience. Um, there are a number of things I realized that I'd like to add to this particular video. Uh, I hope to make sequential videos in the future as follow-ups to this introduction to show you some of the progressions and the proofing that I do um, with my babies, huh honey? Um, for the signal exercises. Uh, Debbie, come on, get in your box, sweetheart. In your box. I know. Are you in? Back foot. Good. Wait. A couple things that are extraordinarily important when you're doing your signals is A, praise. You want to praise your dog, <coughs> excuse me, for everything he does in that box right now. Um, because the praise will build his attitude, keep his attitude up, and with his attitude, you will also get stronger attention, and attention is critical to signals. Uh, confidence and attention. If you have confidence and attention from your dog, uh, you can get 150 feet away and your dog will do them. Huh, baby? Yeah, see? I talk to him, I praise your good boy, and he looks at me. That's extraordinarily important. Is